Hey guys, it's Corey. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for being here. If you like the content that I provide, please like and subscribe so that you keep getting all the information and that more people will get all this information. So today we're talking about sugar. <laughs> That's just all there is to say. We're going to talk about sugar and um, I want to share some information from a very popular blog post of mine called Sugar Freed. Um, just to give you a little backstory about me is that I think I've always been a sugar addict. I've always liked sugar. Uh, the running joke would always be when Stacia and I went out, whether we had done a bodybuilding show or an event, we would go out, we would get set for dinner and she would order a cocktail and um, a Diet Coke for me before we even sat down basically. People would order me a Diet Coke and we always knew that at the end of the meal, I was having a brownie or a cookie or some sort of sugar. Every single day, I'll admit when I was competing, I found a way to have some sort of chocolate, some sort of sugar. Still to this day, I figured out how I can have dark chocolate or our detox approved desserts that I love to do. So. Why am I talking about sugar? Because when we talk about sugar, it directly has an impact on weight loss. It's no secret or surprise to anybody. You see keto everywhere. Everywhere you see something, no sugar added, no sugar here. So we know that there's a correlation between how much sugar we're having and how it affects us in weight loss. So at the end of the day, it boils down to if you are having too much sugar, what it is doing is it is causing insulin resistance in your body. So your body is no longer functioning the way it should because there's a chronic flood of sugar into the body. And so the insulin levels have to keep changing to deal with the amount of sugar that's coming in and nothing starts working. And so then all of a sudden you just basically start storing the excess sugar that's coming into your body into fat. And so your metabolism is all mucked up and your hormones aren't functioning properly. You throw in the changes that happen when when women are, hit the age of 35, 40, 50, 60, and everything just makes a change. And so just wanted to kind of throw out some different things about sugar just to give you a background. I do have some notes because I want to make sure that I give you all the different stuff. Um, so as we start to talk about removing sugar from your diet, so what I do with all my clients is I want them when we go through a reset and remove sugar out of their diet, they go on a process for 21 days where all they are eating is 15 grams or less of sugar. So we don't go 100% sugar because if you start to look at labels, I would just challenge you this week, look at the labels in your pantry, look at the labels in your house. There is sugar in every single thing. So there's step number one. Just start looking at all the sugar and figure out where it is. And then step two is start removing that sugar and getting it out of there. Yes, I promise you, you'll go through a sugar crash. That's okay. If you need support, that's why you reach out to us. We've got our 21-day hormone detox. We've got our hormone solution. Both of those will help you remove sugar, remove sugar properly so that you feel better. So a lot of people don't necessarily start thinking about it. Yes, you've got the typical, there's an increased risk of depression, developing type 2 diabetes, insulin resistance, a couple other things that I think about for vanity for women. Did you know it makes you age quicker? So your skin, your cellular level is all going to be not as great if you're eating sugar. Can lead to a fatty liver. A lot of people don't know that. It can increase acne can increase your risk factor for kidney disease um, and it increases your chance of developing gout or big ones, it hair, memory, and increased risk of dementia. I don't want any of those things. So about five years ago, I said, I've got to get the sugar under control. I figured out a plan and Stacia and I both did it. She had already given up sugar a long time ago, but walked me through it, gave up sugar, lost 20, 20 pounds of body fat, have kept it off. And I tell you, it really feels amazing to have the sugar gone. So how do we find sugar? Where are you looking for sugar? And you know how I said to go start looking in all of your pantry and looking at all your bottles. So here's just a couple of names of sugar. So cane juice, cane syrup, corn sweeteners and high fructose corn syrup, fruit juice concentrate and nectars. Yes, natural, but there's still sugar. Honey, malt or maple syrup, and molasses. So those are all going to be your sugar. So take a look at those ingredients in the back. If you are having a product that's going to have some sugar on it, the only sugar I really want you to be in there is organic cane sugar. That's it. Get rid of all the other sugars. You don't need them. Money of all these are just processed. And so it's just adding lots and lots of sugar. The other thing is sadly a lot of people think about when they're going to start reducing sugar is you can go for all the artificial sweeteners. There's so many studies that show that Artificial sweeteners same have the same reaction in your body 
as regular sugar does. So while you might not be consuming the sugar, you may still have the same insulin response. And so your body is still doing the same things. It can still be an insulin resistance. It can still be holding onto the body fat and not losing it. So common artificial sweeteners, sweeteners to look for. The saccharin, the aspartame, um, the neotame, the sucralose. Sucralose is the big one. Splenda. There are so many studies out there that are starting to say that there could be a connection between memory impairment and sucralose. I want my brain to function as long as possible. So I highly encourage you, get rid of the sucralose and the Splenda. So remember, these artificial sweeteners are synthetic chemicals that stimulate the sweet taste receptors in our body, but science shows they still don't work as well. So really want to focus on removing and reducing those sugars. That's really, really a key component of making sure that you are living a longer, healthier life. Uh, some of the things that I see with my clients when they reduce sugar, they sleep better, they have less inflammation, they have less joint pain, they have less belly fat. Um, here's my simple, simple tip on how to reduce sugar and how to get it out. If you find yourself eating sugar every single day, here's a simple, simple little tip. I want you to take it in a mini pack. So think of like, you know, Halloween candy, tiny little pack of, you know, M&Ms or Skittles. Have one of those a day and then you can have it whenever you want. This is how to break up with sugar. It's just that allows you to just have that tiny little bit of sugar, but you don't have as much of the sugar. Um, the other options that you can do is you just have one small piece of dark chocolate um, or you can have... There's all the recipes that we give in terms of the detox approved recipes that we have. So those are great alternatives as well. Sugar is one of those things. It is addictive and it is hard to give up. But I promise you, if you give up that sugar, you will see so many changes in your body. I It's not a secret. I tell women all the time when I start working with them, if you would just give up three things for me, three, all the time, you'll lose weight, you'll keep it off, you'll feel better, your skin will look better, everything will look better, your moods will be better. It's alcohol, it's grains, which we'll get into, you can read all the blog posts, we'll get into another video as well, we'll get into another um, article and blog post and video with alcohol, but then the other one, it's sugar. It really, really will make such a difference if you get rid of sugar. So if you are struggling and you really wanna get rid of sugar, I highly encourage you to reach out. Let's have a conversation about how we work, cl walk, walk clients through step-by-step 21-day -step, detox for your hormones or how we do it in our hormone solution to help you break up with sugar and get rid of sugar for good. I promise you, you're going to thank me later if you go through the process of three weeks of detoxing from the sugar and get rid of it. If you like this, please like it. Please give me a comment. Let me know that you enjoyed this information. And again, subscribe so that you will get all the newest videos as we send them out. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye guys.